In this feature video, we're going to take a look at a new feature added in our 197 releases called Link Groups. Let's take a look here. So inside Magic Q, I'm just running our standard uh, Chauvet Demo 24 show, which is available with all Magic Q downloads in our demo folder. Just go to Load Show and hop into the Demos folder. I'm going to go to my Setup Window View Settings and I'm going to turn on Group Queues here. So you can see Group Queues, I'm set to prefer Group Queues mode. Uh, Link Groups works perfectly with Group Queues. So if I go back to my Layout 1, and I've got some fixtures already patched inside this demo show, one of the groups being my spot group here, which is all 12 of my spots. If I locate them and bring them on, you can see them on here. Now, the change we've made now in our 197 releases is we support linked groups. So if you change the order of the selection or use things like odds and evens and store another group, you'll create linked groups. Let me show you how this works. If I press the odd even button, you can see in the viz now uh, I've gone red are my odd heads. Now, if I go on and store a group here, it's going to automatically name that because it's got the spots in it and it's going to call that spots odds. You'll see in the top right, we show you how many heads are inside a group. So my main group, group 12, which is still selected, uh, has got 12 heads, but the uh, odd group has got six and it says L, L for linked group. If I press odd even again, you can see it now selects the evens. And if I store a group here, you can see that's been updated as well. I now have my even spots. Uh, it's named the group for me and it tells me 6L. It's a linked group, six heads in. Uh, we also support things like uh, other selection uh, in our linked group, things like segments and chunks. So if I said went into chunks and I said split into uh, two chunks, uh, and we'll cover chunks in a separate feature video uh, available on YouTube. So if you go and uh, record another group here, you can see it's chunk one. If I press next, is going to be chunk two, and I record that as a group. You can see it's named my groups. Uh, spots, chunk one, chunk two. Now these are linked back to my master group. Uh, so yes, they're quick selections. Uh, the one advantage being if I change the contents of this group, these are going to update. I'm just going to take a copy of this group and I'm going to record that as group 13 here. And I'm just going to label that as spots copy, just so I've got something to put back fixtures in this group later on. If I select group four here and I go into view heads and I change the fixtures in this group. So if I hold my shift key down, and I say get rid of some fixtures. I've just taken three random fixtures and I go and re-record this group. You can see at the moment is 12 and my link groups, odds, evens and chunk one, chunk two, first half, second half, they all have six in, uh, six heads. If I go and re-record this group now, with the three heads removed, yes, you can see it's dropped to nine. My link groups have automatically updated now. Uh, so odds and evens have got five and four or four and five there, making my nine fixtures total. So you can see those groups automatically update when I select them. You can see it now gives me the new odds and new evens. Uh, bear in mind that I took out some of the fixtures in the middle there. So if I take the odds and when I take the evens and locate, you can see there it's updated the selection. It's based on the selection order in my master group, the order things are stored in that group. The three heads I've taken out, it's recalculated which should be the odds, which should be the evens, which should be the first half and the second half based on the number of heads inside the group. Now, if I go back and I just select my first group here, uh, just as a way of selecting, and I'm going to put them back into the master group now. There you go. So I've got all 12, and you can see these linked groups have updated. I turned on group queues uh, earlier, so I have group queues enabled in my show. If I go and record some queues, so I'm just going to remove uh, whatever's on playback 8 here. I'm going to select my odds, and I'm going to hit locate, and I'm going to say odds are in red. And I'm going to select my evens, and I'm going to locate them and put them in green. And I'm going to store that as Q1 here. And now I'm going to build a second queue, which is using my first chunk located in blue and the second chunk located in magenta. I'm going to store this as my second queue here. Now I'm in group queues mode, so my programmer, you can see I only have groups in the programmer and I'm going to go on and record this as my second queue. If I now change this into queue timing on this stack and I run the queue, you can see exactly as I recorded. Uh, the odds are red, the evens are green, and the first chunk is blue, second chunk is magenta. Now this is built using the groups. If I go and view the queue, so my second queue, you can see it's built, built using group 33 and 34. This is a group queue show. So if I update the master group, change what's in the group, it's going to affect my queues and even my linked groups. So very quickly now, I can come into view heads and I could actually, uh, I'm going to take out the last four fixtures. So I'm going to take out one, two, three, four heads here. You can see they're no longer selected there. I'm just going to go back and re-record my group. 
done and you can see automatically all of my programming has been updated completely live. I didn't even need to reactivate that playback. You can see uh, first Q, which is the odds. Uh, there we go, odds, red, evens, green. It's just taken out the last four. And with my chunks, it's recalculated. There's now only eight heads inside the group. So for chunk one, it's realized, okay, it needs to be four heads, not six now, second chunk, and it's used different fixtures. So it would dynamically allow me to update programming. If I put the fixtures back in again, you can see Q is automatically updated. So my link group, the order of the fixtures, the odds and even is based on the order of things in my master group. Any programming I have with my subgroups is automatically updated when I update my main group as well. So that's link groups available in our MagicQ 197 release onwards. Download it now.